Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplus and today I went to the IKEA and I bought the Tratfri, however you pronounce it, uh, smart lighting system. So the reason why I didn't buy the kit is because I need these uh, footings because most of my lamps um, have yeah don't have the, the big uh, connection thing like uh, this uh, metal thing here. Um, so that's why I bought this. It's 5 uh, euros more expensive if you do it that way, but well, I don't want to change all my other lamps um, to fit that. So what did I buy? I bought the um, the hub a, and a, a remote. Um, this is not really necessary for what I will be doing. Um, well, I haven't tested it, but I'm going to try and connect this to Home Assistant because I read that it's possible. Uh, if it's not, that's why I have the remote and two lamps. Um, two light bulbs that I will put uh, around the house or around the room for now at least. Um, so let's get going with the unpacking. Okay, let's start with the hub. Um, I will need a pair of scissors. There has to be an easier way to open this up, I guess, but uh, I managed to do it, or partially at least. So, this is the hub. It's very light and doesn't weigh anything at all. An Ethernet cable, um, Cat 5E, but doesn't really matter, I guess. Power cable. It just seems like your uh, standard micro USB charger. Um, so, I guess if you want to show off that cable, you could even use a your Android phone's cable or, uh, or whatever. And then here, if I can get it out, just an average charger with um, 5 volt, 1, one amps. So, standard. Uh, yeah, standard. Um, so this is the hub already. I'm guessing this will work. Um, by just plugging it in, but I will have to read the manual at least a little bit before I start. I do read the manual, yes. Um, next thing, let's start with the remote. So just your remote, uh, I guess you can pop this open. Okay, you just pop this off, this is magnetic. And Just pop this open, put the battery in correctly, which I think is uh, just like that, right? Is there a positive and a negative? I'm guessing it should be like this uh, the other way around. Battery is in, pop this back in this way and put this back on it. This is just magnetic to put it on a wall if needed. And I guess you can just have this on the wall and then put this on it like so and it will stick. So that's nice. Um, if you want some uh, double sided tape, it's also there. And then finally, Let's open one of the light bulbs. I will do the other one too, but uh, well, they are both exactly the same deal. There we go, just a normal light bulb. Looks good. I guess there's not much to say about a light bulb. It has a chip in it, but it's not visible uh, from the outside. And according to the box, it has 25,000 hours of uh, yeah, that it can give light, so that's plenty for uh, for what I will be doing. So let's start with installing this uh, this thing, I guess. Okay, so I have the hub in front of me. Um, I have the cables to the right of me. I also have the 
the light bulb and the remote. And I have the instructions here. So what they're saying to do is call the IKEA if you need help. But I'm an IT guy, so I won't need help. <laughs> um, so I think the most important part is that we have to open up and connect the cable. So let's get going. Okay, so now it finally just uh, closed. I re-put the cables uh, inside in a, in a better position and it's closed now. So you see here this bar, I can show it to this camera as well, um, needs to be uh, very snug together uh, to say it like that. So this is the, the hub. Let me um, quickly pull out this cable over here. I won't be needing this no more. And plug this in. Ta-da! That gave a click, so that's nice. Then let's as just uh, do this and plug this in the power. Okay, so we just saw, I'm not sure if you saw, but this light here just came on. So we have power, it seems to be working. The light on my switch, uh, this one is also blinking, number one. So yeah, okay, we, uh, we have all three uh, lights doing something at least. So I guess we have a go. <laughs> Let's uh, move to the next part, which is the remote, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the only thing I see here, um, the Google Play app, uh, card free. Let me get my tablet out. Okay, so my application is in Dutch. Um, I'm not going to change it right now, but uh, Okay, so I have to scan this. I'm not going to show that. I'm back with the tablet. Um, so it's connected. Um, what do I want to do? I want to connect a remote first. So open it. Ah, oh, I have to reopen it. Um, where did I put my scissors or something similar? Be right back. So. It seems that um, this device will, uh, or the application will guide you through every step needed to connect the application. So open it, reset it by pressing it four times. This button here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I did that. Um, Okay, a red light should blink. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I have a blinking red light over here. Okay, maybe just saw it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, there you see it blinking over there. Um, so I have to wait 10 seconds now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 so we did that let me move my other camera a little bit differently that we have a better view um so how to connect so get it two centimeters from the gateway press to the button and the lamp on the gateway should blink four times so as you can see here one, two, three, four. OK, 
Okay, it should blink fast. Maybe. Um, okay, no, I have to hold it and the, the, the little light should blink four times really quick. And there we go. You saw I blink four times really quick. And then now I have to wait till the application. Okay, so on the application now you see we have found, uh, so, so now I have to add lamps. Um, the main light you see over here, so that's casting a shadow. I will be using that one to test it out. So bear with me, I will be screwing the light in there um, and replacing the other light. So let's power off the light. Let me find the lamp over here. Uh, this light is going to be hot, I guess. Okay, it's it's doable. Okay, it's a little bit ah. Nah, it's it's too hot for now. Um, I'm going to let it cool off, but I will be right back with you guys. Maybe before we proceed, um, I just finished unscrewing my old light bulb from my lamp. Um. So I'm sorry for the flashlight you see over here, but uh, this is a light bulb I finished unscrewing. As you can see, it's also an IKEA lamp. This is a smart LED, the, the Trad Free uh, LED lamp. And as you can see, it isn't that much bigger, to be honest. Like the, the ball, the, the glass part is bigger a little bit. If you, if you yeah, okay, this is not, not a good vision, but it's a little bit bigger, but there's a there's a Wi-Fi enabled chip in here that will receive things from the gateway. So it's not very big uh, for what it can do. But uh, let's proceed with the tutorial, shall we? Or the tutorial or the unpacking or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so the light is in, um, as you can hopefully see on my other camera. Um, let's get going with um, adding a, well, a, a light bulb, shall we? So we press this. Um, we have to enable the lamp, of course. It's already giving light, so the light works. That's great. Um, but uh, I guess we need to proceed with... Uh, with some other actions before we can finish this up. So what do we need to do? What remote do we use? I use this one. Uh, connect the lamp. Um, maximum two centimeters and I have to hold this for the, this button here again, the same one for 10 seconds. And um, my light source will increase and decrease. So let's start pressing the button, two centimeters. Okay, it went, oh, I have to keep holding it until it stops, I'm sorry. Okay, it stopped. So, my white lamp has been connected. Well, I can add another lamp because I have another one, but I'm going to wait with that. So finish. I'm going to keep it like that. Oh, wait, I can already. I can already start fading. This is already amazing. Oh, and I can, I can change the light mode already via the application. So that's not bad. And I'm guessing now that we have the remote right over here. Off, on, make it less, uh, less clear, increase the, the brightness, change the, the warmth of the lamp. And 
and turn it off again. So that means that now we have basically our hub set up. We have our lamp right there. We have our remote with which we can connect everything. We have the mobile application that can already do quite a bit. But what I actually wanted to do is that I read that Home Assistant has something that could possibly connect with this, um, with my hub. So I just uh, clicked the, the back cover back on it because I don't want to be exposing that. But we have our remote here, we can already control it. I can add a lamp probably via the application without problem. So let's quickly go through the application together. Um, so this is the settings button over here. Um, these are my devices. I have a lamp. I can, yeah, see, I can add a lamp. It, I guess this application is just very straightforward to use. Um, no problems at all. I can probably rename everything uh, without problems. Um, okay, so I have the application over here. I will probably move that. But I think my major uh, goal is to connect this with Home Assistant so I can start automating this as well. Um, that's my major goal. Um, it's, and what I already found out, it's already very useful right now. So I can add multiple lamps. Each remote can have 10 devices uh, connected to it. I think possibly um, this thing can have, uh, I hope, unlimited. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just very useful to use. Uh, it's very clear light. Just with one lamp, uh, if it's too bright, I just lower the brightness. It's, for me, this is already very cool. I always wanted this, um, but Philips Hue was just way too expensive in my opinion. Um, the good thing about Philips Hue is that it has colored lights, LED strips, but well, I have an LED strip right there, which I created myself. Um, I have a bunch of other home automation things, which I will probably make tutorials or videos uh, about. But I'm very happy with this uh, trad free already. Check out the next video if you want to see it connected to Home Assistant. So, hope you guys enjoyed this already. And uh, see you guys in the Home Assistant video with the trad free. So, see you there.